Alrighty, everybody, welcome again to Blender Shift. This is the day after my birthday. Uh, this is a little bonus video. Um, you know, it's after my birthday. I feel kind of special. So I figured I'd put this in. Because a lot of people have been asking about this. You know, the end panel. You know, our little panel. Well, come on. Come on, come on. It can't be that difficult. I know the, the recording software is a hog. You guys know, because you've seen before, that I have a bunch of add-ons. I got a lot of add-ons. <laughs> um, and my end panel gets kind of big. But you see, it's not really big right now. I got, I got item, tool, and view. And that's because... My end panel is organized, and um, this is the last version of Blender. This is version 3.0.0 uh, that I have to uh, set this uh, this add-on up that I'm going to show you, because this is what I use to organize my end panel. It's called Clean Panel from I'm in Deep, and um, he's also the guy that makes RAN tools, which um, I uh, have I introduced that. I don't know. I think I did introduce it. Was that yesterday's? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if uh, it was my birthday yesterday, so I don't know. I can't remember back, but I might have introduced that yesterday, but we'll see. Anyway, um, if I haven't covered it, I will cover it. <laughs> so, oh yeah, I think I did. I went over it. I didn't cover it, but I went over it real quick um, because a lot of you people were wanting something in between Fluent and Hard Ops. Um, with, you know, more options and, and, and stuff like that. And that's what they got that for. But anyway, the same guy uh, develops uh, clean panels also. And since I have so many add-ons, I figure I'd be the perfect person to do a tutorial on this add-on. Since um, I don't I don't know if there's a lot of people that did a tutorial on this or not. I, didn't, I haven't really searched YouTube for clean panels, so I don't know. Um, but anyway, let's get into it. Or dive into it, however you want to say it. What else is going on here? Well, um, when you get it and install it, you know, you won't have, I got these icons. You'll have to put these in by yourself. And you can see there's a drop down here. Um, when I finish, you know, when all of my add-ons get put in, this will be uh, much bigger. Right now, I just got hard surface. Now, I can access that also from this pop-up right here. From this one here, see there's hard surface right there, and it's the same as it's the same as up here, hard surface. Um, but that's you know these are category category categories. You know you can have hard surface, animation, subsurf, you know like that, and all of the add-ons that you have for those things. You know like I have Auto Rig Pro, so Auto Rig Pro would go into a rigging category up here or animation category. Either one would be fine. Um, if I want to have animation for just animation stuff and have rigging for just rigging stuff, I could do that. But any, like I said, it's how do you want to set this up? You know, you, you're the one that has to set this up when you buy it because it comes not set up at all. And you got to put your, you got to find what icons that you want for your tool up here. So you can see right there, that's my unwrapping UV unwrap. So if I click, if I click that right here. You see how this changed over here and added Zen UV? Um, then when you click it off, then it, this over here goes away. Now there's a there's a filter on here that I can a keyboard. Now you see here's all my short here's all. Now you see how that populated. Now watch my end panel. I'll hit the filter again, and you see how that all goes away. And this is where the, this is where I was. That's a keyboard shortcut that you can use to turn your. See here's my RAM tools right here but um and all this does you know if you have the filter on and uh, you know let's say you want this is going to be for hard ops but let's say i want the uh end panel menu for ran tools or hard ops you know whatever you want um that's when you can go into this pin you the clean panels pin you right here and hit hard surface like that and you see, I got cutting material, and then over here I got hard ops. I can click the hard ops, 
And you see, this is the end panel that would have come up in hard ops. Over here, if I had hard ops and I clicked on it, that, that, this is what, this is, well, <laughs> I'm going a little bit too quick for recording, but this is what shows up over there. And also up here, when, you know, when you install hard ops, you get the same menu up, up here in this, in this area too. But that's what the, that's what this menu here does. And the other menu, this one here turns them on. See, if you look over my end panel, look over here in my end panel, when I hit, let's say Chip, this right here is Chip Walters. So if I click Chip, see, these are all of Chip Walters add-ons. Here's Sci-Fi Flex, Kid Ops, Design Magic, Bravel, like that. And then I can go back, pull this back up, click that, and it, go, it goes away back to where it was like that and that's how all this works see these are your clean panels with your pie menu that turns everything see here's lighting if I click lighting right here oh I gotta change that that's auto rig pro <laughs> I put the wrong I put the wrong add-on in lighting but anyway you get the point <laughs> nice nice that I did this video because I now I know that and miscellaneous, you know, up here I got miscellaneous like uh, screencast keys, my create, you know, Archimesh, you know, for architecture, you know, and stuff like that. But like I said, these are for you to, to set up any way you want. Here's the landscape, you know, I got botanic in here. And these are for you to set up, you know, however way you want. You know, over here is UV unwrap, like I showed you all ago. Um, we got material, and uh, you know I got fluent in here, and you know I still gotta get more in here. I can put hard ops in here because hard ops has got material. I can put kid ops in here again because kid ops has got materials on it. But anyway, like I said, that's how you do it. Let's go over here and I'll show you guys in the main. And uh, let me go. Nope, not pie. Clean. There. Here's the clean panels when you install it. Here's your short. I changed the shortcut keys because the shortcut keys that were came with it by default were were you know interrupting with Blender's default keys that I use. One of them was F, which F is the uh, shortcut key for Fluent uh, menu. So I changed it. And since I'm on a Mac, you know, you know, it's, I just got the Alt left bracket, Alt right bracket, and the Alt. Uh, star or anything what i guess i guess the quotation mark the double quotation mark yeah the double quotation mark and that's for the panel the panels pie menu so the quotation mark is the one with the hard ops in it oh it still has it over here let me click over here in the 3d view then i can put see this is the clean panels which is your top one then your toggle filters this turns your filters on and off See right here, the filter is on because I've only got my stock ones. So if I hit my Alt and right bracket, well, there, Alt and that right back. See, it turns it turns the add-on off basically, and all of my add-ons come all of my add-ons come back in the end panel. And then if I want to turn it back on, you know, I can shorten it, or even even if I'm in here. You know, I don't got to turn the filter off. I can pull up my clean panel. Oh, no, not that one. I can pull up my the pie menu here, and you see how it disappears? When I pulled up the pie the pie menu for the clean panels, all my analogs uh, left, and it's waiting for me to choose what I want. And I choose hard ops. Like right there's box cutter and fluent. And that's my hard surface modeling. It was waiting for me to choose. Now I can turn it off. Then it goes back to that, and I can turn the filter off and get all of them back if I want to. So you know, you can. I mean, you can go back and forth right here. You know, however way you, however you know, when you're doing as you're working, and you know, as you can see, I'm pretty used to it now. You know, so I can turn it like you know, turn it off like that and everything. And the more you like with any tool, the more you work with it, the quicker you get, the more you get used to it. And down here, here's your. Pie panels, your drop down right here. 
and all you do this won't be here you got to click add a new category and then you name it see right here I named it hard, hard surface and that's what you see over here when I open it up see that's the category name hard surface and then you hit it, the add button right here and it just kind of like keywords um, come on the bubble there get away there you know it puts a hard surface comma box cutter comma bevel like that and all you gotta do is just click the plus sign right here and then just drop down and you can type in a search or you can scroll through like this you know photographer rental sci-fi screencast you know everything is in here well what's not in here has already been put and all my all my panels here right here so as you add you know as you add a program into here it'll get taken out of the inventory there so and that's you know with each one because you can see you know I can, I can have box cutter in here and I got box cutter in here so you can reuse them but not in the same drop down like when you're in drop down panels right here once I use box cutter then it's gone from drop down panels I can't I won't be able to it won't be listed in here no more because it's already used for this category you know this for your drop down you can put it in pie and you can put it in workspaces and workspaces if you go over here to the right this is your workspaces right here whatever you put in here because see right here here's my hard surface my UV unwrap there's chip miscellaneous lightning or lighting and landscape and then over here is your icons the icons that you see right this icons that are shown right right now is the filters on when you see when I turn the filter off then these icons come back these icons right here that's you choose those from right here same to, as choosing the icon the uh, add-on icon you just scroll down until you all of the icons that blender has uh, in its inventory or in here every icon that you see in the properties panel and every icon that you see anywhere is you see here's the auto there's an auto icon um, there's probably icons in here that you haven't even seen before so that's how you choose your icons and that's pretty much it that's that's all there is to it for the you know I've showed you I've showed you guys how to choose to set up your workspace which is this right here Turn on your filters and off your filters like that uh, the drop-down menu category right here and this here just turns the add-ons on and off right there for the button um, yeah that's all there is to it and when you click these right here what you might say what's the difference between this hard-on right here or hard on <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I hope no one's I hope all of you have left this video by now as usual because the wife caught that but it slipped my mind <laughs> it figures that the wife would catch it <laughs> but uh, I meant uh, I don't know what I meant let's just keep moving on you do you guys do know you know for you regulars here that I got porn videos you know up and I'm into port so yeah I don't know where my mind was on that one but anyway yeah, hard ops. That was it. She corrected me. She said hard. She 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 uh. I heard from she 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 uh pulled me out of the gutter there for a minute. But anyway, um, you might ask, what's the difference between right here when you choose hard surface there, or when I choose hard surface here? Isn't it going to show the you know exact same thing? Why both here? Well, this is this one right here is for your end panel. I don't want that. You know, this shows up over here if you choose it over here in the drop down it'll put it up here in the menu bar so when I hit hard surface right now not now I have the drop down here I got box cutter here and I got bevel here that's all it does and see when I go back to no drop downs then it erases that that's all I, your drop down right here will bring up your menus and put them up here that's all this different between that you know the drop down goes here and your clean panels right here go 
turns it turns it on in the end panel. Oh no, it doesn't turn it on. Excuse me. I see. I'm flustered now. It turns it on, so you can so you can have them down here, or you can move them where you want. And then up up here, they won't. You can't move them when you click them. You know when you click it, it'll be right here, and that's it. But anyway, uh, that's about it. I think I covered everything. Hope you guys like this bonus video, and um, I covered clean panels for you. So if you're looking, for, you know, if you're one of them uh, people out there from the Discord or, or wherever that have been uh, moaning and bitching about the end panel and cleaning it up and stuff, and the Blender developers aren't devoting any time to the end panel, well, this video is for you then. Uh, you can find the link to uh, clean panels in the description below. Along, as usual, along with the links, affiliate links to all of the other add-ons that I use and will be covering uh, eventually in the uh, tutorials here on Blender Sith. So with that, until next time, we'll catch you guys later.